so y'all, it's Tuesday the 15th. I already made one video when I was sitting in the car warming it up. Now I'm at the chiropractor taking a little break, just sitting here chilling, about to uh, get adjusted. And uh, remember I told y'all a while ago, um, I've been having some issues with some things I've been doing and dealing with and things I want to be, uh, excuse me one second, y'all, that I try and you know, I, like I told you, the, the, the change up I get with a lot of people nowadays, you know what I'm saying? So um, I wanted to touch base on that a little bit. Um, hopefully after today, this will be the last time we come into this chiropractor or maybe one more time. But honestly, I'm on the probably last time. Um, I really I feel really disrespected in a lot of aspects. And I'm not going to put the chiropractor's name out there. Like I told you, I'm going to keep things some keep things professional as I can. But in the same regards, I just been um, letting y'all know about Zilla's life and what's going on. So one thing I didn't like, you know, prior to the pandemic, I used to come to the chiropractor once a week because um, with my work schedule and working out and then doing all this and all that, um, I've been really, um, my body gets out of whack, you know. And don't get me wrong, the chiropractor I've been going to um, was great in the beginning, and then start, start, until I started doing my research and seeing how other chiropractors are very much involved on how they do, you know, crack your back, do this and do that. So I wasn't liking that. Um, I'm noticing that my my adjustments weren't very in-depth. It was just like, you know, some bullshit and you want to charge my insurance company all this money. That's been kind of bothering me. You know what I'm saying? So also, too, after the pandemic, like, you know, like I said, again, I brought them a lot of business. Number one. Number two, my bill is always paid. But also, too, um, I end up accumulating two different bills with them. Right. But they never ran it through my insurance. So they would threaten me. Well, if you if you don't pay this bill, you can't come. And I'm like, well, where the fuck's this coming from now? You know, excuse my language, but it's like, you know, it's funny. People change up. And I noticed after the after the pandemic and every however you want to put things people in real funny style you know what i mean because with me bringing them so much business and clients whatever you want to do and always promoting them um never had an issue with things and like a lot of times like with a lot of my stuff it was oh you don't have to worry about paying for this this is covered blah 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 now they want to do their bullshit so now like i've been trying to get my paperwork in order for um my fmla now all of a sudden you know, they take forever. This isn't done. That isn't done. So it's been a real hold up like that. I feel like they know I'm not going to be coming there anymore because I'll be honest with you. Once my paperwork is done, I'm finding somebody else because my thing is you, when I come for the first appointment, it's at 830. You don't walk into almost nine o'clock. So really, they should be charged. You should be paying me because you coming in late. You know, and it's just like, you know, I, when I get a great rapport with a lot of people and a lot of companies, and then all of a sudden, I know it's a change. It's a, you know, mashup, as they will put it. And honestly, man, I'm, I'm getting tired. This is one, one of my biggest issues I've had for the past few years and more so in 2022. I'm just being tired of being disrespected like I do everybody dirty. You know, I pay my bills. I bring business. I never screw anybody over when it comes to money. You know what I'm saying? We all go through things and been through things, but when it comes to people that I care about or establishments or people that I would consider a friend or family, I don't fuck you over. I don't. Never done and never will. And I've noticed this is this is one story. I'll get into another story another time. This is one of my changes I was telling you about for 2022 that I'm going to be getting a new chiropractor. Number one, no one's closer to home. Number two, somebody that's going to get a little bit more detail with my body. You know, some of the cracks that are getting done now. I could do to myself, you know, and also, too, it's just like I feel like we're watching YouTube and other stuff out there. It's people who will do more in my visit. Like it ain't going to be like a make type thing where it's like you're going to be in this area for 15 minutes, blah, blah, blah. I want somebody that's going to take their time. It doesn't it doesn't matter how much time it's going to take, but they're going to dedicate it to me and not rush for the next person. You know, I want somebody like that, you know, so I that's one thing I got a couple near me they all got five star uh ratings and i'm gonna see if they take my insurance so i'm gonna start working on that next week and uh going from there but i've just i've had enough like honestly man one of my biggest things for 2022 is cutting a lot of things off people and establishments and businesses where if i just i just feel disrespected 
and I'm not that type of person, man. I don't really go off this Bob that I'm going to screw you over. But it's like people come at me and want to walk on me like a doormat because they got some shit on their chest. I'm not that type of person. I don't take my emotions and feelings out on other people. I feel the way I feel and that's it. But if it has nothing to do with you, I'm not going to take that out on you. You know what I'm saying? And I've noticed that over the, the months and years lately, like, you know, I'm getting a shit into the stick for no reason. I ain't do nothing wrong. So why should I, why do I deserve that? You know, it's bullshit. So this is one of the, one of the things I told y'all I was going to switch up. That's going to start probably after this week. Um, when I get home, I got I got some calls to make. I still didn't get my cars back yet. Make y'all laugh. I'm still driving the Cobalt. The truck, the Jaguar and the CRV is still in my boy's shop. So I'm waiting on him. The ball's in his court now. I'm really not going to say much more on that currently. There's nothing I can say. You know what I mean? I did my part. Things are paid. I had a bill, paid the bill off, even gave him extra money now. So it's like, it's on you, big dog. You know, I know you're busy, but, you know, when here's what kills me. People always come at me about this and that. I do my end of the, the, the bargain, and it's still some bullshit. So whatever. I'm not arguing no more, man. I'll be honest with y'all. As I said in my previous video, my mind state and my overall morale is totally different. I'm, I'm not not getting to no shit. Just don't put your hands on me. You want to talk shit, blah, blah, blah. Just say it to my face. And a lot of times people don't do that anymore. Everybody want to be keyboard gangsters or when you walk out, they want to say some shit or just have an attitude. People don't realize who I really am and what I've really done in my life and who I was. So I just take a take a step back. And honestly, man, I be letting karma let let it play its part, man. I try not. I just let I let the oceans <laughs> and the waves take over their inertia because uh, I'm not getting my blood pressure all up unless I have to. You know what I mean? Sometimes things are called for. You got to do what you got to do. But at the same token, you know, when people realize I'm not in the picture no more, that's when they got a problem and then they feel stupid. So I just be like, you know what? This whatever. You did it. And then when I call out those things, oh, no, I didn't mean it to take it out on you. It wasn't about you. You sure about that? You know, it just it just makes me laugh, man. But it's whatever, y'all. I just do what I got to do and keep grinding, keep making this money, man. Life is life. And uh, that's what it's going to be, man. But, yo, happy Tuesday to everybody. Stay warm because it's fucking cold, man. I think when I left work, it was like nine degrees. I'm sick of this shit. I tell you this. I'm going to be living in this forever. I'm going to tell y'all that now. <laughs> that's a motherfucking promise, baby. Mocha Black Dynamite Latimer will not be... And it's cold weather for the rest of his life. <laughs> I'll be in the warmness. I don't care where it's at. I'm going to find it. I don't care if it's another country, another realm. I don't care. I got to go Mortal Kombat. I'm out. I'll tell you that. But that's my little story for the day for y'all that I wanted to tell y'all. And uh, I will holler. All right. Peace, y'all. Um, you're probably going to, real quick thing. I'm sorry. I'm multitasking here. It will probably, from now on, it's probably going to be two or three videos going up a night. Till I feel like I'm caught up. So, with that being said, you'll probably have this video. It's going to be one video and another one coming up. Um, I have a couple surprises for y'all later in the week. And uh, some big announcements. And we'll go from there. But, um, like I said to y'all, I've been really working on things um, behind the scenes. To really get this page up and popping. Get things really where I want it to be, man. So, y'all have a great day. I will holler at y'all. One love, everybody. Stay warm. Stay blessed. And do your damn thing, man. You know? Be safe out there, y'all. Remember, take one step to live life on your terms. And it'll be marvelous. Do that daily, man. You'll see what you accomplish in a year, a month, a day, a week. When you just take that time out to do those little things, man. All right? Peace.